Hey, it's Matt with Mage. This is our weekly feature callout series where I talk about the latest and greatest in Mage uh, and ways that you can make the most of your data pipelines. Um, this week I'm talking about conditional blocks. And those are just that. Uh, they're blocks that execute under some condition. Um, so for example, we have our DAG on the right here with two branches and we only want to go down one of those paths. Uh, the demo I'm going to be using is Morpheus. And as we all know, Morpheus gives Neo a choice between a red pill and a blue pill. Taking the red pill informs him about the matrix it allows us to actually have the movie. The blue pill would theoretically end the movie. He would wake up in bed and not know what happened. Um, if you haven't seen The Matrix, I highly recommend it. It's a classic. Uh, but we want to choose one of these paths. So in this first cell, I'm defining a uh, pill as a uh, global pipeline variable. So we, we can create a variable in our pipeline um, and then reference it in, in the downstream blocks. Uh, but we have these two choices, and now we need to associate conditions with them. Um, so if I open up this pane on the side here, conditionals are actually an add-on block. And I have two conditions defined, red pill and blue pill. And all they're doing is saying, hey, if the data is equal to red, we're going to return true for the red pill. And if it's equal to blue, we're going to return true for the blue pill. So I can add these to the blocks, right? So Neo chooses the red pill and he chooses to stay in Wonderland. So we'll save that block. Um, but had he not, the story would end. So that's where that would come into play. Um, so now we have our conditionals associated with, with our given blocks. Uh, and I'll just kick off a trigger here um, as I uh, whoop, I'll kick off a trigger as I explain what this is going to do. So we're going to define our pill variable to be red um, and run our pipeline. Um, so basically what's going to happen is uh, the entire pipeline is going to start executing. When it gets to stay in Wonderland because the variable is equal to red, it will execute that block, but because the variable is not equal to blue, this block will not be executed and any subsequent downstream blocks would be skipped as well. So if you look at the logs here, um, we'll see, okay, we executed block Morpheus, then moved on to stay in Wonderland. Because the, var uh, the condition evaluated to true, this block was executed. For the story ending, this will evaluate to false, obviously. Uh, so, um, the block was not executed um, and all downstream blocks are skipped. So that's conditionals in mage. This is a demo of Neo's choice uh, <laughs> modeled as a mage DAG. So if you're expecting something completely off the wall today, here you go. Um, but hopefully this is illustrative of how you can use conditionals to affect, uh, effectively design data pipelines that operate under different conditions. Um, I'm Matt with mage. This is conditionals and I uh, hope you have a great rest of your week.